children deserve to be children, and they don't have any choice as to what world they're brought into. Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about our children's first program, and who better to talk about this program with me than Jonathan Reyes Carranza, our children's first lead teacher. How are you doing today, Jonathan? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. So, Jonathan, we're going to jump right in. You know, why don't you tell us a little bit about the program, um, you know, what you do, kind of your role, how you started with, with the organization. I'll start with um, my introduction with Harmony at Home. Yeah. Um, I started in 2019, so I'm entering my third year, nice. right before the pandemic hit. Ooh. So, yeah, <laughs> imagine just getting trained in this curriculum and then being told, hey, we're going virtual now, so let's flip the model. Yeah. Um, so we used to do one-on-one -on -one classes in person with families and then eventually had to move on to Zoom and um, over-the-phone meetings. So mm -hmm. Children First is a co-parenting education program for families that are going through divorce or other issues associated with a separation. Um, and like you have mentioned, children have no choice into the world that they're brought into. But what we try to do is to equip children with the vocabulary that they desperately need to find their voice, yeah. and then empowering them to use it in a way that helps them navigate the social environment. So it, it's, it's a very um, important thing that we have to do because, of course, like when the pandemic hit, it kind of uh, took the back burner. Obviously, people were more in survival mode, yeah. having to focus on housing security, making sure they maintain their jobs, making sure they have food on the table. These other stuff like, what goes on in the home, communication, mm -hmm. having presence and sharing quality time. It's kind of like uh, secondary. Yeah. But now that things are calming down, I think that families are ready to see, okay, how can we help um, our families thrive again? Yeah. Let's equip ourselves with those communication tools to better have those lines of um, open between ex-partners, new partners, um, blended families, and of course yeah. the children, making sure that they feel uh, that parents are available for them. So why don't you tell us a little bit more about the structure? You know, well, what does it mean, right, to take a children's first class? Um, what does that entail? What does that look like, right, right now? Mm -hmm. Of course. Uh, so children first consists of two classes. Um, first class is going to be one hour and 30 minutes. We'll go over the curriculum, um, which includes just the impact of conflict, recognizing our part in the conflict so we can minimize that. Yeah. Um, also trying to look at the stages of the development of the child who initiated the divorce, when it occurred, how they were, where are they now, and what are some of the possible reactions and feelings that come along with that. And then also teaching parents ways to help their child uh, just to minimize that gap that might be growing in the distance. And then, of course, helping parents problem solve with their ex-partners, trying to negotiate with them what's appropriate for uh, the child and their current schedule, whether it's education, extracurricular activities, yeah. making sure that there's consistency there so it doesn't seem like it's such an abrupt change that disrupts their known world. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, absolutely. That's, I mean, that's great. And then the second class would be? A second class is just like a, a general check-in. We organize oh. it a couple of weeks after the initial class, uh, nice. just so that there's enough time to reflect on the, of what we spoke about, put some of the communication tools into practice, yeah. see if there's new challenges that arise with the child or with the ex-partner, and also to see if um, the children respond to the changes that you've made in your behavior and seeing if they also have new behaviors that have been, you know, um, demonstrated either in the home or at school. Definitely. Mm -hmm. No, I mean, that that's great, right? You know, having that service available and those services available is awesome. Um, so when the parents complete both classes, uh, do they get anything? Yeah. So um, Children First is a co-parenting education. A lot of the clients that we received are referred from the courts. So they're either mandated, recommended, or just suggested to participate in the program. After they complete both classes, they receive a certificate of completion. Nice. They can present that to their attorney, the mediator, the judge, whoever's interested in them having that form. And it just serves as like a, you know, we've participated, we completed the classes, and um, we received the service. Of course, families that then graduate from the program, I've started the support groups for them, uh, filled with other previous graduates. So moms have their support group uh, filled with other moms, uh, and then dads have their own group too, uh, just so that they can listen to the topics of the day, uh, share in the common experience, receive their similarities with other people in their current cases. Um, just because children first, again, it's only two classes, and then yeah. you're done. Uh, but we want to make sure that the service is continued because a lot of what we teach in the program is almost like lifelong yeah. lessons. So it's how we can try to apply things in our day-to-day -day or change the little subtle things in our behavior from moment to moment, how we can respond differently. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, 100%, right? Mm -hmm. You know, basically helping people with, you know, communication. You know, those are skills that anybody can use for the most part, right? Yeah. Learning how to communicate with your significant other, you know, or, you know, your ex-partner, right? Um, or even learning how to communicate with your kids, you know, giving your kids um, that voice, right, and, and empowering them to have these conversations and empowering them to, to speak up for themselves and to, to put a feeling associated with what they're actually feeling, right? right? That's so powerful. You know, it's so amazing. And, you know, we're, that's awesome that that's something that we do have and we do provide. 
Um, so can you tell me a little bit about our impact on the community? How do you think, you know, this program is impacting our community and, and the people that we're serving? Of course. Yeah. Um, honestly, I love the work that we do. It's really like when I think about a community, I'm like, what does that actually mean to me? And the community is based off of trying to develop the relationships that we hope to have with one another. Yeah. So if we have harmony at home, if we teach children classes to heal the family, whatever those home values eventually translate into school practices, then that shifts the classroom culture yeah. that eventually gets translated out into the social workforce or in just the community yeah. at large. So it's, it's very much a starting where you live and then yeah. taking that out to school, to the workforce, to the environments that you exist in. You start from the most basic level and you look at seed, it grows, it sprouts, it just keeps yeah. blossoming all over. So when you make children feel nurtured, attended to, provided for, have quality presence, yeah. then that they'll carry that with their peers, making sure that their friends feel heard, offering yeah. them space, holding um, space for their emotions, allowing them to vent. And now that, that it just translates all over. Yeah. So I see the healing kind of just like paying it forward. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. It's like this emotional intelligence, right? That we're yeah. giving these young kids. Absolutely. You know, that they're just embodying. And, you know, like you said, right, they're taking it to their friends and here and here and there and just being these positive impacts, you know, um, these posi this positive footprint moving forward which mm -hmm. is that's amazing that's awesome um so can you can you share with me you know and us like a significant memory that you have like one time or one thing that sticks out you know throughout your your experience um you know teaching these classes and stories that you've heard and stories that you've experienced mm -hmm. yeah um i've worked with so many families and it's honestly just such a, a blessing and yeah absolutely. honor to be able to like offer a service to someone who's willing to receive that gift and um, usually when I work with parents, I tell them like, uh, what are some of your hobbies? How do you pursue your passions? How do you express your creativities? Go back to those things so that you can feel mm -hmm. whole, nurtured, and feel like you're functioning at, at full capacity rather than yeah. a depleted battery. Absolutely. And um, they'll take those practices when they're away from their kids. So when they're ready to receive their kids again, they're able to offer them just that full quality attention. And um, then I get to work with their kids and then I meet with their kids like, okay, mom has her story, dad has yeah. his beliefs, but the truth lies with the children and how they feel. Do they feel safe? And I've worked with a, 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 this boy and he's just brilliant. <laughs> like yeah. sincerely, he's just so smart. And I, I love working with this kid. Um, his mom has a boyfriend. His dad also has a girlfriend. They're expecting a new uh, child uh, together. And he would still share with me in confidence and say, I, I wish we could all just be in one home. Yeah. He understands that the separation of the families is under, like he's okay with that. Yeah. But he just misses cooking a meal with mom in the kitchen and then going yeah. to the living room and watching a movie with dad. So it shows me even though he's so okay, he's adjusted very well to the separation. Yeah. He still has like fantasy desires or hopes for the future. Yeah. And, and it's like, even us as grown adults, we have our own expectations, desires, like it's, it's very normal. So I just, all I try to do is just validate him and understand his experience, his worldview, where he comes from. And just seeing like, he's not traumatized by any of this. He says this, but it's not alarming to me. You know, yeah. none of it's like a, ooh, that's a red flag. It's more so like... No cry for help or anything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Seeing how he's just adjusted so well to the changes that even his parents hear it and they're like, oh, dude, like how he's even able to express it. He doesn't feel shy about like, yeah. oh, I, I don't want to share this because I don't want them to be concerned. He can s give it to the parents and then they say like, oh, okay, thank you for sharing that with me. That shows that you're comfortable enough to, yeah. to express those feelings because you know that I won't deny them, reject them tell you that it's never going to come true and it's nice to see the son just be offered like oh yeah i can confidently speak about my own experience mm -hmm. and i'm accepted yeah because then that shows that he has that safe space of a sense of belonging yeah. that's what a family is because a divorce can change the way that a family looks like but mm -hmm. it's about maintaining the sense of family making sure that the kid feels like he has that yeah that home yeah mm -hmm. no absolutely it's it's almost that you know two homes twice as much love right mm -hmm. And I think, you know, us talking about the program, right, and, and you know, we talk about it a lot, um, that's kind of what we're trying to embody with the program is, yeah, there's a situation, uh, a trauma that occurred within the relationship, right, where there was separation that need to happen, but it's, it's okay because we're teaching them healthy ways, right, to mm -hmm. communicate, healthy ways to have, right, co-parenting, right, and, and, and healthy way, you know, for the kid to process his emotions and communicate his emotions and teaching the safe space, right, mm -hmm. um, that's, that's amazing, it's going to allow the kid to grow, and yeah, I mean, obviously, you know, he misses the way things were, um, you know, and in, in terms of, like, having both people there present, but 
two homes, twice as much love, right? Exactly. Um, and that's kind of what we're trying to build with this, right? And, mm-hmm. and moving forward. Um, and so I'm really excited about the future. I know you're really excited about the future. Um, so why don't you share, you know, what's been going on for Harmony at Home um, and the Children's First program and what the future looks like. And I guess the future is now because we've already started, but feel free to share and, and let everybody know what we're doing now. Of course, like typically our Children First classes are one-on-one. Um, mm-hmm. Schedule a class with mom, schedule a class with dad, and then with the children after I get both parents' consent. Quickly just going to plug uh, Coastal Kids Home Care. Thank shout you for out. that. Yeah, shout out to them um, yeah. and the Heal Together grant that's offered us the opportunity to expand the Children First service. Yep. Um, so now we're able to offer this service to the community at no cost to them. And we're partnering with schools to try to um, offer Children First classes instead of in the intimate one-on-ones, yeah. more in a group setting and literally welcoming everyone, parents who are separated, parents who are divorced, who are going through it, who are just thinking about it, or just anyone who wants to receive communication tips are welcome to come and attend the classes. Yeah. Um, we're providing child care we're providing food for them um, just as long as we can have a facility and we can bring our staff there then we're just offering this training for whoever's welcome to receive it and since it's free like a gift so freely given ought to be received by whoever is willing to accept it absolutely so we welcome anyone to just come and attend these classes just sit down with us and if there's something offered for you great if not we still thank you for the time you know yeah so absolutely. yeah the expansion is just it's just beautiful that we're able to just get out there into the community and actually go out there because again i've been doing these classes virtually and um being at a distance it almost loses that human touch yeah yeah absolutely and like he said it right we're we're just trying to create this barrier free experience me being a parent um i my checklist right my mental checklist when i get home is you know where are my kids right of course they're with me in the car um second it's okay what are we going to eat right and then it's going on from there so thinking about adding an event to that right and now since we're taking it out to the public and having these group group classes i my mental checklist goes off and i'm thinking okay how are we going to make this accessible how are we going to make this barrier free for parents so we're going to be providing child care you know we're going to be providing a meal snacks um, beverages and then you know we're going to have classes from like you said right ages 5 to 11 and then we're also going to have classes for ages 12 to 17 um, to really give them that education so that they can immerse themselves in a way that they communicate right because Mm -hmm. kids communicate different than you know older kids and then we're also going to have these classes, you know, for mothers and fathers, right? So that they, that way they can have their safe space, you know, amongst people going in similar situations as themselves so that they can share and just really immerse themselves into that education. So, so we're super excited um, to be bringing this out to the public, like Jonathan said. Um, and, you know, just to reiterate, we're looking for anybody that does want to partner up, anybody who does want us to bring this curriculum to your school, to your school district to your organization doesn't have to necessarily be a school you know we will provide everything you know in terms of you know the 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 raw materials the food the beverages and the in the curriculum and the teachers all we need is a safe space to be able to put this education on and to give it freely to our community Mm -hmm. um and yeah so we're super excited about that um that's what we got going on in the future in the near future you know, we've already started these uh, services. Where do we start these services? Down south, right? Yeah, we started uh, South Monterey County um, in Greenfield and then also in King City. Mm-hmm. We've just finished our first sessions in Greenfield. Uh, we're going to finish up and wrapping up our second classes in King City next week. So awesome. we're excited for that. Yeah. That's exciting. And, I, and we're in talks with other, um, you know, school districts up north, right? In Salinas area, Soledad, um, you know, and, and basically all throughout, you know, Monterey County to bring this curriculum for free, right? To our parents, to, you know, anybody who wants to receive this education. So stay tuned. If you wanted to know more information about that, visit our website, harmonyathome.org. Um, and you'll be able to, to look at all the programs there and you'll be able to look at our Children's First program and take a look at where we're going to be having our next Children's First classes. Um, so Jonathan, if they want to reach you directly, you can reach him. How will they contact you? For sure. I'm available through text, call, or email. Uh, If you want to reach me by phone, 831-620-9811. And by email, jonathan at harmony-at-home.org. Awesome. Thank you so much for stopping by and for joining us this week. And stay tuned, right, for more episodes. And, you know, I'm sure we're going to have Jonathan on here again. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you, man. Appreciate it.